Hey guys, how's this day from Common RDW here, and it is May 17th, which means it is finally the day for the random impromptu like arms direct that Nintendo announced a couple days ago. Uh, I'm super excited because we had more details for arms and Splatoon, maybe like what two weeks ago? Because uh, the direct that we had before centered around arms and Splatoon, so we got to know that arms is gonna have like a 2v2 mode where you can play online and go against people. And then also, like, what else? We heard that there's gonna be like a, kinda like a gallery shooting type of thing that you can do single player. Uh, we heard about Min Min, who is the newest character in the ARMS series, uh, who has ramen arms, and also a dragon arm too, Dragon Fist, that shoots out lasers, which is pretty crazy. And then since then, we also found out that there's a new character, uh, his name's not DNA, Helix, I think his name is Helix. He's like the flubber looking goo, uh, robot goggles, LED screen goggles uh, character that is new. Uh, so that brings our fighter total to two, four, six, seven characters. I'm super excited. We're actually, I'm recording this live right now, so the direct hasn't even started yet. Uh, we're at like 4.57. So we have about three minutes until the direct starts. So before the direct starts, I'm going to uh, give a little thoughts about what I think is going to be happening in this arms direct. If you want to skip this, just timestamps down below. Uh, you can skip ahead and just go to the parts where all the cool stuff happens. So, future me, take care of that. Alright, so basically for this ARMS Direct, I think what we're going to see is we're going to maybe see the idea of... We're probably going to see actual menus. We might see actual menus. Uh, so, like, what the game's UI looks like. Uh, we're probably going to see some more stages. So, Min Min had her own stage. Helix had his own stage. And we're probably going to get, if not another one character, we might get two characters. Since this is an exclusive arms direct. Or we might get one. We might get one character at the le at the lowest. We'll get one. Which I think will probably be the uh, dark skin chick. Because last time everyone went crazy when Mimina was announced. But if we get this new fighter who is female also, that would bring our... That would actually bring our female to male fighter count to eight eight fighters solid but also half male half female so if we do end up getting like eight to ten fighters uh we're already like halfway there for like even numbers for male and female but if we were to start off with just eight fighters which is basically a pretty default number for like a, a fighting game starting off i mean like games like Skullgirls, when they first came out they had um eight fighters in it so eight fighters is a pretty good way to start off this game uh, what else? What else? This is basically just me talking. I don't think I'm really going to edit this as, until the direct starts live. Because we got, a, like, about a minute left. So, uh, what else? Oh, there's going to be a Splatoon trailer. So, for the Splatoon trailer, I think we're going to probably see something that has to do with these new Kali and Marie stories that are online. So, basically, uh, if you haven't paid attention, if you go to Nintendo.com slash Splatoon, there's a tab where Kali and Marie have been getting their own canon story, but they're all only text. So, the new trailer might have to do with Callie and Marie's background and what they have to do with the Splatoon 2 story. Uh, or if not that, we'll probably get to see more of the single player. Because we got a glimpse of the single player last time when they talked about the Octolings, and we got that like little cut. But um, after that, we're probably gonna see some more for single player for sure. Oh man, it's five o'clock now. Five o'clock Central Time. That's when the direct's supposed to start. It should be starting really, really soon. Maybe in the next couple seconds. I'm so excited. I can't wait for this thing to start, man. Ah, <sighs> come on. So far, out of all the characters, I think I would have played with. I would play with Springman for sure. I like how he has the uh, the mode where if he gets down to like below 20% health, I think he basically goes into overdrive and he has that last burst of like power. He probably gets like I think he gets an attack boost, which is pretty cool. Uh, which gives you like basically a last stand type of thing. Uh, I don't think I play with Ninjara like that. I don't like Miss. I don't like Master Mummy. Uh, Mechanica's pretty cool. I like how she's like the only human character in the Arms game right now. Like she doesn't have the springy eyes, which I want to know more about that. Why Arms characters have this special DNA or something where they? Because the Arms, their arms are real. Their arms are their arms. So I don't know 
if we're going to get to learn more about this universe like we did with Splatoon, how we learned about the lore and the background of the world. So we might get to learn about how these people with this weird springy spiral arms eyes thing happens and like how they started the arms league. So if we were to get a story mode, it would probably be along the lines of something where we're playing as each individual character. So if we were to get eight, that would be a pretty fine number because then it would be like we get to play a couple stages of each character and get a little bit of their story on how they go into the arms universe. So I would love that actually. Hope that happens, that we get a story mode for each specific character and each character like interacts with each other differently. I would love that. That would be great, man. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get this arms direct going. What's going on? Oh, boy. What else? What else? What else can I talk about? Uh, 2v2. 2v2 was a mode that we saw last time, too. So, uh, I want to see more. Oh, also, we heard about the um, how you can play arms with a controller. I want to learn more about what the differences will be. Oh, it's starting. It's starting. Here we go. Let's get ready. Hope they start. The gift. <gasps> This is exactly what I was talking about. ARMS can extend like springs, an unusual ability shrouded in mystery. Is it hereditary, a mutation, or the result of extraterrestrial experimentation? Whoa. We may never know. This music, though. Historians have attempted to pinpoint the origin, but each attempt has ended in failure, as if held back by an invisible hand. What the heck? Despite the mysterious nature Yo, is this like ReZero? It's well known around the world that certain extraordinary individuals share this gift. Many oh. of them are actually quite famous for using their extendable arms as professional fighters in the combat sport also known as arms. That's wild. They're actually going into the story. None of these superstar fighters can remember the moment they first realized they had the arms ability. They just woke up one morning and... Bam! Extendable arms. That's what? In fact, one of the arms fighters, Springman, had this to say. I was shocked at first, but having arms like this is actually pretty rad. <laughs> what? So, you just... You're not born with them. You just wake up and your arms are just long. Not Biff's back. Today we're bringing you another non-stop volley of arms action. So expect a healthy... Oh, God. I'm so hyped. These replays look cool. Like, this would be... If I was watching an eSport and this was, like, the footage I could see, that would be great. time for Arms 101. Arms 101, huh? And this advice always comes in handy. Are they about to explain arms again? Pay attention to two things. Weight and attributes. Weight, huh? It may seem like a no-brainer, but weight affects momentum. Arms okay, so they didn't go into this last time. We just knew there were different attributes. Arms are more powerful, but also slower. Okay, slower For arms. Hit arms. The power of individual hits is low. Oh, okay. Sometimes punches may even run into each other. If your arm is of the same weight or head, so they'll okay. So choosing what weight your arm is and the element of the arm is an important thing in this game. That's pretty cool. So it's like there's a there's a mental element too. So if you're just picking like a basic arm, you have to pick like a good layout. That's cool. There are seven different attributes total, and each one kicks in after charging up. Nice charging. Fire. Wear them out and create an opening with electricity. Okay, we heard about this last time. Blow, away your rivals with a tornado of wind. Blow them away with Freeze wind. Fighter to slow their movements with ice. Okay, that's pretty cool. Stop a competitor from moving with stun. Shock them. You can exp you can blow up people. And take their eyes off the prize with fire. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Different attributes, so it's usually a good idea to equip a different one on the left than on the right. So each specific fist has a specific attribute. And attributes in mind, and so weight and attributes come in handy. That is technical so stuff. technical. Here are some fighters competing in the ultimate arms competition. That's wild. The Grand Prix. Oh, the Grand Prix. This might be the story mode. Fighters Part the One. Bouncer, Spring Man. Do they have voice acting? Do they have voices? That is a cool hairstyle. His passion for arms is definitely real. Okay, he kind of has a voice. I can hear him. That he can unleash once charged, and the indomitable spirit he shows under pressure make him extremely popular with kids. 
He's kind of like a high voice, like a teenager. Here are his signature arms. And again, I, I don't remember his age, but I think he's in the teens. Boomerang. So are these like his spe his specialty hands or something? Try attacking from the front with a tri bolt, then from the side with a boomerang. That's wild. That is so crazy, man. Like, if people could figure out how to mix up these arms correctly, people could go crazy, man. The arms league without stretchy arms? She must be a genius, and she's out to prove it by joining the ranks of the arm spiders she admires so much. Yeah, they didn't her mention that earlier before. Is equipped with a hovering function, a perfect fit for a girl who dreamed her way to the top. That's cool. Just look at her. I like that. Wouldn't want to cheer for this girl. Here are her signature arms. Oh, okay, everyone has signature the arms. Shoots electrified bullets. The but everyone can get each cute. other's arms. It's not it's restricted to specific characters, right? So if I wanted to use the revolver and the boomerang as Springman, I could do that, I think. Stop your rival with a stunning revolver and a whammer with a shock attribute for non-stop attacks. These combos are nuts. Hit him with the stun and then just electrify him? That's nuts. Okay, Ninjara. This ninja in training Those background characters look kind of ugly. The stages look beautiful project. though. Wait, oh, they got ninjas in the they got some ninjas in the background. Okay, he's the fastest one out of everybody and he has substitution juice too. Oh, that's cool. They have like his hair his uh shuriken hairstyle. That's cool. Here are his signature arms. The shock ram. The shock ram can shock go around ram. opponents and attack them from the side. It's kind of like the buff boomerang. Pops up after a charge and curves pretty well. The buff. Okay. And the tri blast requires a delicate touch. Once charged, it blows stuff up. While blocking attacks from the side with a shock ram. Hold up. Blowing up your so okay, the so the shock ram looks like it's similar to the boomerang, and the the, the thing, the three bolt Mastermind. thing that. Uh, Ninjara had looks similar to the tribal. So are there gonna be fists that are very similar to each other, but are named different things and have different attributes and like different weights? He's gonna be such an issue. He doesn't flinch and he can heal. Here are his signature arms. Oh, the Phoenix looks cool. That looks ridiculous. Oh my god. See, that looks like the revolver, but it's fire based. The regular revolver, I think, is shock based. That's cool how it flies out. That's so awesome. That's so bogus. A new challenger just signed up for the Grand Prix. Ooh, new new character. Speed Demon Kid Cobra. This charismatic uh, hmm. skateboarder is joining the battle. Okay. His goal, he looks weird. Of his radical live stream. Oh, he but actually has like a, a cobra back. That's kind of cool. What? And I mean big old arms like a boa constrictor. Whoa. His body has been what trained the heck? for skateboarding, letting him slither like a snake on the ground as he pounces on opponents with charged up consecutive dashes. Whoa. Here are his signature arms. A salamander. Slamamander. What is up with this stage? What are these platforms? See, and this is just a vertical. Okay. I see what's going on here. And that's just a cold boomerang. I like how the slamamander is just, just slapping people. Okay, he look, he's alright. He's not my favorite character design, though. He is not my favorite character design. But this stage looks so weird. Is of course multiplayer battles. And so on behalf of the league, I'd like to introduce you to a Oh, yep, there's the UI. I'm so mode. good at this. One on infinity? The most basic mode. Fight. Fight mode. During the fight, bombs and healing items drop in. What? On an roller coaster. So you get items too? In two on two team fights. Two on two. Are chained together by strings. 
so allies will be more closely knit than chain ever. together by strings that's okay can accidentally hit your ally and, and there's team and there's team together. damage that's crazy that seems like a lot i wouldn't play that mode a lot v-ball <laughs> it's just volleyball and arms that's fun i like that that's funny you could just keep rejecting their ball i like that okay that's cool how they're adding and basketball and you throw your opponent into the hoop Throwing makes for a splendid swish. Yo, that's wild. That's so cool. I like that. I like that. You can slam jam your opponents. Oh, and that's target break it's versus target break. I like this. One on one hundred. Those things look like helix. Those things look like helix. What the heck are those things? Oh, okay, basically training mode. This game is so full of content, y'all. They have everything covered. Oh, you gotta buy arms. Okay, you gotta buy arms. Consider it unstylish to hold on to your winnings. Let's just blow it all at the arm getter. The arm getter? Every now and then you may get an arm you already have. But don't give me that huh. sad face. I don't understand how it works, but somehow duplicate arms you receive have a higher attack power. Okay. Earn your keep as a prize fighter and use it at the arm getter. The arm getter. So the more you play, you actually unlock so new arms. It. Oh, the part two. We might get another character. Ribbon girl. Okay, ribbon girl. The singing arm spider is joining the Grand Prix with her brand new song. Ooh. She's walking on air with her next level. This soundtrack is so good. Even the laws of physics bow down to her oh, that's cool. She's like, they actually take advantage of her being a pop star. The little notes. That's cool. That wasn't there before. I like that stage. It makes me think of the Electro Dome from Mario Kart. That's so cool. Sparky, Popper, and Slap Amanda. That's the same name as the other one, the Slap Amanda. It's just the Fire Slap Amanda. I love the Slap Amanda. I would be using that. There's Min Min. There's Min Min. I love her stage. That is so nice. Oh man, that's so nice. And she has, she's good on the defense because she has the blocks. How do the transformations work though? Is it like if you keep hitting with one arm, you get the buff? That is so dope. The Ram Ram Dragon. Hmm. Why not? And the Ram Ram makes a big fiery arch. Okay. That's like the Shock Ram. Shock Ram, but it's fire. Yo, I'm so fuck I'm so excited for this guys. The man of mystery? Helix. And Helix. Arms Laboratories accidentally engineered this. He scares me. He's OP. The fact that he can dodge, he can like quick dodge, spring man's like flurry attack, that's so scary. He can just be around, he can just be behind cover. Unless you can break cover, but like, see that? That's so scary. That's crazy. Ooh, the Guardian. Ice Dragon. He has an Ice Dragon. The blorb. Oh, that would piss me off. Oh my god, come on. That is so OP. Oh my god, Helix. That's so That's so bad. That's so bad. 
He can block and blind you and freeze you. Tag team, the clockwork cops fight and bark. What the hell? But what the hell? And his robotic canine partner Bark fight together as a pair. Oh no. Are pairs even allowed? Why am I asking questions I can't answer? All I know is that Bark does what he wants, distracting opponents. Uh-uh. I don't like that. Fights footstool if need be. I don't like that. Oh no. When their rush attack is activated, they combine forces for a combo attack. What? That's wild. This you telling me this man has a launch pad and a co-op and a partner? That's crazy. That's unnecessary. He doesn't need a part. No one needs a partner in this game unless it's 2v2. So you're telling me if you get bark and bite and you're on 2v2, you get two people? Plus the dog. Mm -mm -mm. <gasps> Ooh! Oh my god. Oh my. That's not even her arms. That's her hair. Bayonetta confirmed for arms. Oh my god. What? She's so. Ooh! Oh, damn! Oh, no! Hold up. Does she still have the thing? Or What? How did her hair become arms? Oh, my Jesus. Oh, I can't wait for the... Oh, those legs. I'm distracted. I couldn't play with her. It's an elegant combo that She's literally Bayonetta in the arms universe. Oh my god. We just got all 10 characters today, guys. That's wild. There are literally thousands of unique arm and fighter combinations. Oh my god. It offers different strengths and weaknesses, so the variety of play styles and strategies is Oh, this game has to go eSport. This game has to go eSport, guys. Now let's cover what you can find outside of versus Oh mode. man. This ha this is story mode. Champion, you must win Defeat 10, 10 fighters in a row. Okay. This game comes out in a month. This game comes out in one month. I cannot wait that long. Ooh, who is this guy? Who the heck is this guy? Then we got party match. What? Connect your Nintendo Switch to the internet to challenge fellow players in party match. Oh, so you can just straight up just play online with people. Okay. One lobby can support up to 10 systems and up to two players per system. So, up to 20 players can get together in a lobby for two player, three player, 20 people. Player matches. 20 people. You into groups automatically. So even if you're shy, there's no need to worry. You can enjoy the fight together. That's wild. You can make a lobby and everyone can have a switch, but you can also play two players Feeling and then you can just play with That's crazy. Player mode for you. Ranked match. The ranked matches. Here we go. Only one -on -one battles are allowed. That's what I'll, I'll be playing that. Your rank will go up. Oh man, this looks so good. I am so. Oh man, Twin Tails. So fight like you mean it. Twin. Fight like you mean it. And wait until your opponent is selected while playing another mode. Once your rival is selected, the ranked match will begin immediately. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Oh, you can just do the thing where you just wait for people to join. Can also get together with your Nintendo Switch. And you can do local play. Let's go. It's not just a two-player mode either. You can create a lobby for up to eight up players, to eight players locally. Play party match style. This game is fully equipped. This game is done. Why are we waiting? This game is done. Well, fighting fans, it's almost goodbye. This almost. game is finished. This Give me the game. I cannot wait any longer. Apparently, arms will continue to offer free updates with new fighters, stages, and arms, even after the game launches. On behalf of my many bosses, they're splatooning it. They're splatooning it. Let's go. 
They are splatooning! Well, for someone like you, I have one more announcement. Oh, On these days, what? we'll be holding an online demo event called the Arms Global Test Oh, <laughs> Let's go! The fight, On the 26th? That's next week! That is next week! That's it for today. That's like every week up until the game comes out. They're having global touch punches every week until the game comes out, guys. Oh, that's good job, Nintendo. Good job. Oh my goodness. I am hype. Oh man. I cannot wait. I can't wait. King Cobra looks okay. King Cobra looks alright. His stage looks great. Twin Tails looks so good. Whoa. Oh, please. Oh, yes. Please. Look at those alternate skin colors. Oh. I don't like bark and bite. What is this? What was that? That's story based stuff. Listen to that soundtrack. That sounds so good. Busy. Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh, here we go. Squid Research. What do you want, Squid Research Lab? Here comes this. That was really good. I am so. Oh, it's the new, it's the new hub. Ooh, I like it. Looks so. Ooh, it's like a totally different. Look at that walk cycle. That walk cycle's nice. Hold up now. Marie's just. The story mode! Marie's taking you to the story mode! Yo! What is up? Oh. oh man! Here we go! You're so beautiful! She's so cultured! As soon as I saw you aimlessly wandering the square. I need you to get over it. She's so blunt. Yes, I'm that Marie. You know, from the... She's like, yeah, it's me. It's me, I know. <laughs> He's like, I don't fucking care. You've never heard of me? For eel? Oh, the new story mode gear. Ooh. That remix? Oh, we got we got grind rails, guys. We got grind rails. Ooh. Oh my jeez, this looks so much more insane. What is going on? Ooh. Okay, take this with you. It'll help me get some practice data. You get different weapons. You get different weapons in the story mode. Like all of them. Yo. Those grind rails though. Oh my god. The Octarians are back. Oh man. I can't get over those grind rails. And the eel things are back too. Is that toast? Why is he on a unisu- Oh my. Oh my god. God. Wait a minute. Whoa. Is there like an octoling running the whole thing? Whoa. Hold up. Hold up. What? Is that it? <sighs> okay. That was amazing. That was amazing. Nintendo's killing it this year, guys. Don't even talk to me about Nintendo messing up with the Nintendo Switch. We got arms going crazy with co covering all bases. Like, this is basically the Smash to hold us until Smash. And I don't even want to see what happens when Smash comes out. Like, oh my goodness, this looks so good. We have a full 10 character roster, which everyone knew was going to happen. Also, no, actually, we were scared we weren't going to get a full 10 character roster like a month ago. 
We got two characters since then. Now we got three more characters, which is crazy. We got Bayonetta, basically in arms. Twin Tail. Come on now. Oh my god. I can't wait for that. Attica, make that shirt, my boy. Make that Twin Tail shirt, my boy. Let's go. Like, oh my god. Hold up. I need to go back and look at this. I need to go back and look at this. Why'd you look at this? Someone take a look at this. Hold up. Let me look back at this in post. Okay, first off, I love that they covered the, the hair. They covered, no, they covered the arms. They covered the background of the arms. That's insane. They covered the arms background. And no one knows why they're a thing. Because of like an invisible arm that stops them from talking. Re-zero much? Listen to this music. Historians have attempted to pinpoint the origin, but each attempt has ended in failure, as if held back by an invisible hand. Re-zero, dude, come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Straight up re-zero. Oh my god, hold up. Let me go back and look at Twin Tail, though. I need to see Twin Tail again. Where are you, Twin Tail? Where are you at? And attributes. Helix, Bark and Bite, there we are, oh my god, she is beautiful, look at that, look at the, tell me you don't know what they're doing, tell me they don't know what they're doing, that is insane. Oh my god. She's beautiful. Oh, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, please. She is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Man, it's crazy. I'm so done. I'm... I'm done guys like I'm d comment down below comment down below if you got stuff to say I'm 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 compromised right now I did not expect that to be so lit I'm I'll talk to you guys on the next video man bye